Hi everyone, welcome to Time for Adults. My name is Charmaine and today I will be showing you some Reading Colors Your World suggestions in honor of our Summer Discovery Program. Let's get started. This first book is for the color red. This one is called Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zahner. It is a memoir uh, about her childhood memories, growing up Asian American, uh, coming of age story, uh, figuring out her Korean identity and forging her own path. Uh, it also details the hard times of visiting her mother who's battling her final months of cancer. Uh, it is a very heartfelt, authentic, honest uh, book that even includes some humor in it. This book is for the color orange. This is Digital Body Language by Erica Dewan. It is a nonfiction book that explores the significance of body language, how we as human beings, when we communicate in person, we take signals from one another, from one's body language. But on a digital platform, it is harder to figure out what the other person means because of being on that digital platform. So Erica Dewan goes on to explore how we can figure out the different cues and signals on a digital platform and still be able to build connections and trust through emails, IMs, and video calls, and other digital platforms. This book is for the color yellow. This is Dial A for Aunties by Jessie Q. Sutanto. It is about Madeline Chan who accidentally kills her blind date and tries to dispose of his body, but her family has a wedding business and his body gets shipped out in a kick cooler to the wedding on the coastline where they're working at. So in the span of a weekend, she has to pull off working this wedding, uh, escaping the murder charges, and also reconnecting with her college sweetheart who happens to be at this wedding too. This sounds like a fun, hilarious story, definitely about family and romance thrown in. This book is for the color green. This is Good Eggs by Rebecca Hardiman. It is a story about three generations of family who are unexpectedly brought into an adventure when they invite a home aide to come into the home. Kevin Gogarty has an 83-year-old mother who is caught shoplifting, so he decides to hire an aide to take care of her. Her name is Sylvia. She seems to be a big help uh, for the family uh, until she pulls them into a crisis and that's when the adventure begins. So this is a very hilarious, heartfelt story about family. Uh, redemption, it's never too late to start living. This book is for the color blue. This is Facing the Mountain by Daniel James Brown. It is a World War II historical account about four Japanese American families and their second generation sons who volunteer to be part of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team uh, and get deployed to Europe and encountered many dangerous missions. The story occurs right after Pearl Harbor where Japanese Americans faced a lot of uncertainty living in America. The author, he did a lot of research, including interviews with the family and looking through archives. This sounds like a very interesting historical account about a side of World War II that we haven't really considered. This book is for the color purple. This is Crochet Step by Step by Sally Harding. This is a book for all skill levels, whether you're a beginner or an expert at crocheting. It has a lot of beautiful photographs and illustrations for what materials to use, techniques, 
stitching patterns and everything you need to know that will get you crocheting beautiful things in no time. For our final book, we have a bonus color, pink. This is Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Cosimano. It is about a stressed out single mother who is a novelist. She goes out to eat with her agent and someone overhears her telling the plot about her latest novel and they mistaken her for a contact killer. She agrees to get rid of a problem husband and she discovers that handling crime is a lot harder in real life than it is in her novels. This is a funny, witty novel that really touches upon the struggles and the triumphs of motherhood. And that is it. We hope you found something from this colorful list of books that you'd like to check out from our library. If you would like to check out any of these titles, feel free to go onto our library's website and place a hold request on our library catalog or you can call or visit any of our three branch locations. We'd be very happy to assist you. Our contact information is at the end of this video, as well as the titles and authors for all of the books that I mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.